Hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome to my channel, to another video. In today's video I'm going to talk about the hernia surgery at Shouldeyes Hospital in Toronto or near Toronto in Ontario, Canada. So if you are contemplating to do a hernia surgery in this hospital, sit down and listen. I have done it, I went through it and I will tell you everything about it. So first of all, uh, hernia is very common, very common, especially amongst the white male population. It's not common at all amongst the black uh, male population, which is interesting. I think it has to do something with the muscles, with the build, the differences between us. And also amongst women is not common at all. Um, so uh, often you can get hernia, uh, but you won't even notice. Sometimes it can be painful and sometimes it's not. But sooner or later you will notice a bulge, you know, where the muscle is ripped, where there is hernia, you will see it's not the same as it was before. It might not hurt at all, like in my case, it didn't hurt me at all. Uh, yeah, I could touch it, I could, I didn't feel it. And for example, when I, uh, when I was wa walking uh, and during the day, I could feel it, the bulge. But when I slept uh, and I woke up, it was in, it wasn't uh, prominent. But then during the day it again opened. I think it is not safe to um, to keep your hernia and not to have it sorted. However, that's what I was told by the doctors at all eyes. But um, in my case, I had it. First, I didn't even know about it. I didn't realize what it is for years. So overall, I probably had it for five years. Um, I knew about it and then when I happened to live in Ontario, Canada and I learned about shoulder eyes, I decided to go and had it, have it sorted over there because uh, really if you are Canadian or permanent resident to Canada, you have insurance, health insurance in Canada, which is basically free healthcare, which means free healthcare, then you should go for it. You should have this uh, surgery done. I really highly recommend it over there because they are the best. This hospital was founded, um, I think maybe like 80 years ago. Uh, this is really the best place in the whole world for hernia surgery. You can do your research about this. Um, they don't use mesh, so they are not putting anything on are natural into your body. They are just uh, putting stitching muscle together, you know. They are really experts. They do uh, dozens of surgeries every single day. Every day, this hospital is so busy. It's a nice kind of small hospital uh, with a feel of like a private home or a five-star boutique hotel with really nice stuff, nice uh, conditions. You, I mean, you pay for it. You. If you have the insurance, as I said, if you are from Canada, then uh, you pay for it and then you will be reimbursed. You only pay some basic, some, some part of the fees, but it's not that cheap or not expensive either. I mean, it costs around, uh, if I remember correctly, two to three thousand dollars, the whole thing, because you have to pay for the surgery, for the anesthetics, for your stay. They require you to stay there for, um, for five, days before they, you are released they won't let you go home after the surgery okay all right guys i'm back now sorry to stop um so uh, you pay but you will be reimbursed if you are a foreigner from the us or from europe from anywhere you can go to uh, shoulder eyes they will do your surgery but you have to cover it privately or you have to sort it out through your insurance you have to find out by yourself if this uh, your insurance, uh, private insurance, travel insurance, whatever, will cover this, uh, these costs. So, um, yes, you, you, you apply online, you first see your doctor, uh, which will confirm you have hernia, then you submit the documents, you give them a call, and you have to come uh, uh, to shoulder eyes for them to check, and after that they will uh, give you a date for your surgery. I mean, it's it's the same 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 day you don't need to come twice okay and then uh, um, your surgery will be 
uh, your check-in is in the afternoon and then you get a nice dinner there is really like five star hotel minus alcohol really really nice nice you will really like this and um, there will be a group maybe of 40 40 people who all will have surgery next day and uh, this is happening every single day people coming a group maybe 30 40 have all surgeries then stay five day go home okay so next day will be your surgery uh, in the room you will be two people usually it's two uh, same same gender of course um, next day you have your surgery they'll give you um, one pill to uh, you know to, to relax to rest then put you in the in the theater operating theater and put in the IV and to the surgery um, it's in the full uh, anesthesia and then um, after uh, that they are going to move you to your room and then um, they will use um, like in my case they, they are using these metal stitches so they are not stitching after the surgery when everything is healed you won't have a scar like a scar with little lines uh, little short lines all the way across it will be just one long line really nice almost invisible because they are using these metal stitches which just hold the skin together and uh, don't leave uh, bad scars it will be uh, swollen it will be painful for a while but then uh, it's better for the for the future you know so they uh, when you wake up in the they will give you a lot of painkillers and once you wake up in the afternoon or in the evening in your bed you will feel pain you it will be very hard to to get up well it's individual it depends on your fitness and how flexible you are but you will go to the toilet you know look, look at this very slowly very yeah, this is very common you will ask nurses for more, more painkillers they will ask you anyway they're really really good really caring and then uh, dinner food the next day they will want you to walk walk they will say walk a lot walk in the garden if you can as much as you can it might be really hard for example if you sneeze or if you cough you will feel it everywhere in your body then the doctor will check you day after that then they will also offer an additional service which is not covered by Canadian health insurance you have to pay for it uh, some exercise some physio gymnastics uh, with the lady from the hospital it's uh, optional I didn't go for it but I have to say I was quite stiff and felt pain and even on my maybe day one day before the release I was still not doing that great there were some people who were just walking around fine like nothing happened but as I said this is very individual of course before your release doctor will check and confirm everything is okay you get the paperwork um, the payment you have to pay by credit card at the admission to the hospital not at the end and then they will let you go they won't let you go before the five days is up so after that yes go home take maybe a few more days off if you need it from work and then you are good to go back to work and they will book you at Shouldice for another additional checkup in six months between six to nine months which I did I came went back doctor had a look asked me how, how I feel how is it all going and he said good there's chance they mentioned one in a million that your surgery won't go well that you will have to go back again or that you will lose some functions you know uh, regarding your muscles or down there uh, so overall really five star absolutely five star to shoulders hospital amazing amazing team experts professionals they will fix your hernia for sure go for it if you have any experience about shoulder eyes please comment below if you like this video if it helped you give me a like if you have questions ask in the comment section i will respond uh, yeah or if you want to share it with your friends share it follow me subscribe for more interesting videos like that so guys good luck you'll be fine go for it fix your hernia as soon as you can don't limit yourself and you will be feeling great again thank you for watching